We're doing rosemary, fig, and apricot stuffed leg of lamb, and some quinoa, and maybe some vegetables again. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, too. I think I just came. This time it's R&B. We gotta say special thanks to these guys supplying us with their weed ale and their East Side bitter. So delicious. Side of our leg of lamb, figs, dried apricots, rosemary. Basically, chop it all up real small, throw it into a bowl, and mix it. You guys see this? This is a professional drinker's glass. When you can do that, you're a professional drinker. We've got our stuffing made. We've got two super sweet local legs of lamb. We're gonna open them up like that. We're gonna get some seasoning in there, lay in our stuffing, roll them up, tie them, and steam roast them with some of this R&B brewing sun god wheat ale, some figs, some apricots, some flavor. Okay, so we're gonna tie up these, these legs of lamb. It's kind of complicated, kind of simple, kind of a pain in the ass all at the same time. First, knot it up. Oh, we love to get naughty, don't we? Then, you're just making a hitch. Slide it over. So we've got these on our roasting rack. Now we're gonna throw a bunch more flavor into this pan. Our leftover fig, apricot, and this R&B brewing sun god wheat ale, cause why wouldn't ya? It's in a super fancy plastic two liter pop bottle. It's good. Fire these back on top of that party. We're gonna get them into a 500 degree oven for 20 minutes. 500 degrees. Get it in there, sear the outsides, and then we're gonna turn it down to about 300 for an hour and a half. Let's do it. It's a really good weed air, wheat beer. You gonna share? Nope. So it's been about 25 minutes at 500. You can see nice and golden brown across the top. Leave it at 300 for about another hour, hour and 10 minutes till they get to about medium rare and medium. <laughs> but you know what you did just do? You just got buffalo. Yeah. Oh! oh <laughs> nice! Wait a minute. It's not what it's not. It's not. You right. gotta drink out of your back end. <laughs> Buddy, you know what? Hello, who is it? Oh, Schmack, you're here for blowjob time now. Can you bang too? This time four finger, right? <laughs> you give me four finger discount for blowjob time and game pay, right? <laughs> okay, please come up now. Seriously, <laughs> every time you do that, there's like an elderly neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wait for like one of your elderly neighbors to show up. I sure enough, this guy like comes around the corner. Okay. It's like, and he was buzzing, he was behind me. Oh, you're filming right now. <laughs> so our lamb has been in here for about an hour and a half total. An hour of it at 300, a half hour at really hot. I think it's done. Thick part, through the middle, three count to the lip. 
Medium rare, perfect. Let's start making the sauce and the quinoa. So we've got our lamb over there. It's gonna rest for about a half hour. While it's resting, why wouldn't we make a sauce? Gonna get this over some nice high heat. Let it reduce down. It's gonna thicken naturally. We're gonna get some quinoa going because apparently we have to have some other stuff with meat. You know what the best part about my job is? I get the leftovers. I'll show up. This is a full thing. I bet you it's hot as not. <laughs> Smells better in here than your right side. Misty 900s looked back in the day. Everything I do about Keep Sorry, my bad. How, how tasty was that with your beer? Oh, actually orgasmic, I think. Okay, we're gonna get the quinoa on. We've got our fancy magic measuring vessel. Perfect. Into a pot. Then we're gonna grab some chicken stock. Organic, of course. Then we're gonna grab some beer. I think for this one we should use the east side bitter. Why not? So we're gonna use a liter of chicken stock, close to a liter of beer, is we want 1.5 times the volume of liquid than we have quinoa. Bring it up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, put a lid on it just like rice, and let it cook until it's done. Red peppers. Cut into a nice small dice. So we got our green beans, we're gonna cut them into chunks. Again, it's just a vegetable nobody really cares about. And it's chow time. Woo! Okay, so right now, TJ's at a bar class with a whole bunch of hot chicks. So I'm gonna text him and dare him to invite one of them for dinner. <laughs> this oh is the length of a horse <laughs> So our quinoa has been cooking for about 12 minutes. We're gonna add our red peppers and vegetable garbage. Mix that in. Bye. <laughs> TJ. Hey, dude, I double dog dared you to bring a hot chick and bring a bald dude. Some Italian parsley here. Just gonna tear that kind of off the stalks like that. Chop it up. Roll. Chop. Grab all this parsley, drop that into our quinoa that's now been liberally seasoned with salt and pepper. We're super healthy on Brew Chef. Look, there's like vegetables and leaves and quinoa, which is apparently really good for you. Brass knuckles suck them. Don't mess with Papa Bear. Dude, really? You're gonna tease me like that? Some fig, apricot, rosemary stuffed local leg of lamb, some Quinoa with vegetables, let's plate it up.
Oh, Central Massage! This time you're gonna calm on my butt this time, right? And then you touch my nipple? Same practice last time, right? 